Lexus on the Lexus. Hey. Everything bigger in Texas. Face to face with it, can't be beefing through no FaceTime. Like, where the fuck your waistline? I'm so indecisive, you can't cuff me, but I'm wifey. But I'm wifey. I just want a nigga who gon' slur me like a icy. Like hey babes welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be reviewing this wig that i received from vv baby hair i believe um if i said that right if i remember off the top of my head but this is pretty much what the inside of the wig looks like this is straight out the packaging i haven't done anything to it um it does come with a elastic band as you can see the black one four combs and also the adjustable band that goes um behind your neck so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and get straight into the video so it did come with lashes um which i'm probably not gonna wear because i have my own lash line which i will always leave that down in the description box below if you're interested so this is just what the wig looks like after i've bleached the knots and plucked the front that's why it's a little poofy um, also in the description of the website, it says this is kinky curly hair, which is really not. It's just a deep curl pattern. It's not kinky at all, but yeah. So I'm just going to use some 40 developer and some bleach, of course, um, to bleach the entire hair. So this is what it looks like. I have an in-depth video of pretty much how I do this already with my chocolate brown hair. So I put bleach all over the hair just to lighten it up a bit. I didn't keep it on there for a certain amount of time. I just hair, I literally rushed to do this. So this is what it looks like once I rinsed out one side. It looks pretty chocolate. Like it looks like a little ombre effect, which was actually pretty cute. Um, Yeah, but I didn't keep it this way. So as you can tell in the video but yeah so i'm just rinsing this out and then this is literally how it looks after y'all i have not put no dye nothing in this wig and it looked so bomb it already looked like a ginger type of color which is the color i was going for like a ginger copper but this was so bomb i didn't even want to put the dye on it but i was just like i can always remake this but this was so cute like do y'all see the curls stayed intact super bomb i freaking loved it I just love this wig overall. It did get a lot of shedding though. It did. So fast forward, we're gonna just do the coloring dip. What is it called? The watercolor method. I don't know what I was talking about. The watercolor method with this because we've already, already bleached it. So it's gonna work out. Um, I used the Cajun Spice um, and the copper color. I'm gonna leave everything down below y'all because I'm trying to go based off memory and I'm freaking everything, but I'm gonna leave all of the details down below in the description box. So I used half a bottle of this and I used a half a bottle of the Kiss dye that I'm gonna pick up after this. Um, this one was a little darker than the Kiss dye. So I could have used a little less than this um, because it the wig turned out a little darker than I wanted, but I still loved how it turned out. It had a red tint to it. But if you don't want it as dark, I definitely wouldn't put as much of this copper color in there. So this is the Cajun Spice, I believe, from Kiss Colors. Um, yeah, so I used half a bottle of this as well. And I just stirred it up. Make sure you use hot water as well. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do the watercolor method by now. It's like super easy, like dumb easy. I have an in-depth video on this as well so i'm just dumping a little strand um in there just to test it out just see if it's gonna take the color well which it did so after this i'm just gonna dump the entire wig in there there's no perfect way to do this you're just dumping the hair in the dye and yeah so i'm just trying not to get on the lace you can get it on the lace but i just didn't want to have that hassle because i don't know how this hair is like how their lace goes sometimes sometimes it goes on the lace but majority of the time when i've done it it hasn't gotten on the lace but i didn't want to take any chances because i don't have time for that so yeah <laughs> i'm just pretty much just trying to be careful putting some you know little dye on the hair whatever the case may be but yeah i'm gonna just stop talking because i think i've been talking way too much in this video and i'm gonna just let y'all watch until i have to chime in again
so this is how the wig turned out um, after washing it. I'm about to just let it air dry. Um, and then pretty much I'm just going to start prepping the wig. So this is how the wig looks air dried, y'all. It's super freaking bomb. I'm obsessed with this color. Like super obsessed. So it looked a little... It looked a little light on the camera. Um, well, in the light in general. Like, this is, like, kind of, I guess, the exact color how it turned out. Um, so, the camera's kind of picking up, picking up the color pretty well. But, yeah. So, um, all I'm now I'm about to do is just pretty much hot comb my edges. And then we're going to get into the install. So these products right here i'm just showing you um this is just a growth oil that i put between my braids this is the glue that i'm going to be using today it's called the halt me down by erica j she's a youtuber entrepreneur and a hairstylist so i'm just going to go ahead and put the glue um all around my cap you don't have to do this step um uh, I have a different video on my ball cap method, so either one works. This is my first time doing this method. I did see this on Erica J's channel. See how this method lasts. Oh my gosh. So I'm just going around putting this all around my edges. Notice that I am putting this in front of my hairline. I have a very big forehead, y'all. So this is super easier for me, but for those that have a um, smaller forehead and their, their hairline is a little closer, I guess, to their eyebrows, um i guess it'll be a little bit more difficult to do this is just super easier for me because like i said my forehead is humongous so yeah so i'm just making sure that i put an even amount all throughout the um, cap i'm just doing one layer i'm gonna let that dry wait till it's clear and then that's when we're gonna proceed to cut the cap off also i did forget a step which was the makeup i like to put my makeup on before i put the glue um and make sure your makeup is oil free because just anything that's oil free um when you're doing anything as far as your installs go it's going to make your installs last even longer so i'm just cutting this little piece off because it was getting on my nerves it was all in my eyes and stuff and i couldn't see but yeah so i'm just putting a little bit more making sure that everything is even Thank you. 
this. My camera keeps cutting off because I don't have any swords, so I'm trying to hurry up. I use the Ruby Kisses um, foundation. I should have put this on before. I did the glue, I forgot. So yeah, um, it's looking like this. We're gonna, we're just gonna work with it because I always be forgetting steps when I'm filming. Like when I'm not filming, it, it be looking bomb. Put some makeup in the inside before I forget. Um, I'm using the Ruby Kisses again. Um, we're just gonna put this all on there. Okay, so I put it all in the inside and then whatever is left over, I'm just going to take some of it and just put it on the outer side. Also, I don't think I showed, it did, it did come with a last band. I removed it because I didn't like it, how it felt in my head. You can keep it, but I didn't want it. It comes with four cones, one up here, two on the sides, one back here. It does have elastic band down here and I always put it I wouldn't say super tight, but I mean, you y'all know what I mean. So I'm gonna just see how this is looking. So this is how we're going to do it. I'm gonna put it like this close, probably. This is what this is looking like. That's what the part's looking like. We're gonna define the part even more, but it looks pretty good so far. So I went ahead and cut the ears off and now I'm gonna apply my second layer. I just want to cut into this. When I mean second layer, the first layer was on the cap. Okay, so you guys again i missed another whole step i pretty much just placed my wig you know for where my glue is that i haven't cut my lace as you can see I and mean, i'm just trying to put my ponytails um in my head so i just used that with mousse instead of any other product i just used it with mousse to slick them both up because i didn't get any other footage after this because i had no more storage um so yeah i had to like go back and delete and everything like that but like i said again i'm going to do another video of just installing the wig itself and just you know laying the baby hair it's like the whole nine yards because i felt so bad that i didn't get any of the like any actual footage that you guys really wanted to see like what you came to the video to see so yeah i'm over here struggling with these ponytails because i just wanted them so perfect <laughs> but yeah so i just put them in a ponytail and just wrap the little hair around it to create a bun and you know just i'm pretty sure you guys know how to create the curls you just wet the hair and that was literally it and this is how the hairstyle came out i freaking love it i love this hairstyle so so freaking much i think it's really just the color and the curls is really what did it for me i appreciate you guys if you made it to the end of this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos hey, oh yeah, my <laughs> Woo! <laughs>